Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can change the appearance of the redactions made within a PDF to add overlay text that cites U.S. Freedom of Information Act or Privacy Act codes or add your own custom overlay text. You can also change the appearance of the redacted areas and the redaction marks. To change redaction properties, start by selecting Redact from the Tools Center. Next, click the Properties button from the Redact toolbar. The Redaction Tool Properties dialog box then appears. On the Appearance tab, you can click the Redacted Area Fill Color color box to select a fill color for redacted content in the PDF from the drop-down menu of choices that appears. To apply overlay text to the redacted area, check the Use Overlay Text checkbox to enable the Overlay Text section below. Use the Font drop-down to select the font to apply to the overlay text and enter a font size in points by typing the number into the font size field. To automatically resize the overlay text to fit the redacted region you select, check the Auto Size Text to Fit Redacted Region checkbox. To repeat the overlay text, check the Repeat Overlay Text checkbox. You can set the alignment of the overlay text within the redacted region by clicking a desired alignment button next to the text alignment label. You can set the overlay text's font color by clicking the color cube next to the font color label and then selecting a choice in the drop-down that appears. Ensure your choice will be visible within the redaction fill color you selected from the redacted area fill color drop-down above. To create custom overlay text, select the custom text option button and then type your custom overlay text into the adjacent field to the right. To use a redaction code, select the redaction code option button and then select either US FOIA or US Privacy Act in the code sets list. Then select the desired code to apply from the code entries list. Then click the Add Selected Entry button to add the selected code into the redaction code field. You can click the Remove Selected Entry button to remove this code later if you need to make redactions using a different code within the PDF. If needed, you can click the Edit Codes button to open the Redaction Code Editor dialog box which you can use to edit, import, and export code sets within Adobe Acrobat. If you open the Redaction Code Editor dialog box, click the OK button when finished using it to return to the Redaction Tool Properties dialog box. In the Redaction Mark Appearance section, you can click the Outline Color color cube to select a different color to use to indicate the outline used to mark redacted content within the PDF from the drop-down menu that appears. You can apply a fill color to redacted text markups by selecting a choice from the Fill Color color cubes drop-down menu. You can then use the Fill Opacity slider to set the opacity of the selected fill color for the redacted text markups in the PDF. On the General tab, you can set the name of the author of the markups and then type a subject for the markups into the Subject field. When finished, you can click the OK button at the bottom of the Redaction Tool Properties dialog box to apply these settings. You can then use the Redaction Tools already shown to mark the text to redact within the PDF. The overlay text and other settings that will be applied once you redact the selected content is shown within the markups when you roll your mouse pointer over the redaction within the PDF. The redactions will be applied once you use the Apply button in the Redact toolbar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.